Hi, I'm Akash Bell for Bastard Beat, and I'm here at the MISD from the Macomb County Board of Commissioners are recognizing K-12 schools that have applied, met, or exceeded the requirements to achieve an official Michigan Green School status. Green Schools is an initiative that was started by the state of Michigan that sets a standard for schools to be sustainable, to meet certain recycling requirements, and in essence that's what Green Schools is, and we're proud that in Macomb County we have expanded the reach and the scope of that and are one of the most successful green school programs in the state. The intent of the Michigan Green Schools program is to encourage students to participate in activities which help them learn about preserving natural resources, protecting the environment, and promoting energy efficiency and savings. Macomb County is celebrating its fifth anniversary this year. For a school to be green, I mean, you can talk about a lot of things. You can talk about heating and cooling systems, which a lot of times wouldn't be a part of this program because that would require a lot of funding. You can talk about simple things, about making sure temperatures are low when nobody's using schools, making sure you have energy efficient um, lighting. Uh, start a uh, recycling program for water bottles, for papers that uh, students have, to go paperless with some of the materials where, where students use more laptops. I mean, those are some small examples, but do in, in the long term make a big difference. Each year, Macomb County's program has seen growth in the number of schools participating. The program continues to grow with a total of 127 schools from Macomb County earning awards this year. Basically what we did is five years ago we looked at what we could do to become a green school within our school and then since then we branched out to the community. So what we did is we looked at what we could do within our building and that started with simple like restart, um, recycling of paper and cardboard and basically like looking for things around the building that we could reuse. And from that we've actually branched out to the community and now we actually have a recycle station right in front of our building, right in front of our office and that's where people can drop off things that we can turn into art projects for our art teacher and classroom projects for the teachers also. And in addition we partnered with the Anton Art Center last year and we're able to go around the community with Michigan Work students and high school students from Mount Clemens High School along with our Green Club members and paint like a don't pollute symbol using a stencil and paint by the sewer grates in the community. We have worked myself, um, ha have worked with the um, staff and um, the students at Perlene Elementary. Um, we do a variety of activities. Um, we do uh, a juice pouch brigade where we collect juice pouches at lunchtime and um, send them to TerraCycle um, to become upcycled. Um, and uh, we have adopted an animal, an endangered animal, um, this year at the Howell Nature Center, a snowy owl. And the kids voted on which animal they wanted to adopt. And uh, we have um, now participated in, um, with, in, in conjunction with uh, uh, Macomb Fresh. Uh, we have a school garden, school vegetable garden, um, that we started in November. And we're actually starting to plant um, some vegetables in there right now. Um, this is our third year applying, but our first year, uh, three years ago, we started our um, efforts with our paper recycling program, and then we kind of found out about the Green Schools program and built on to that. Um, so in addition to paper, we started collecting batteries and cell phones and things like that. Then once we found about the um, points that we were ne necessary to qualify for Green Schools, we started um, looking into that and seeing what our school could meet. Um, one of our biggest, Romeo's biggest um, categories that we meet a lot of points for is alternative energy. We have an alternative energy class which does a lot of projects which enabled us to um, kind of meet a lot of those points in that category. So um, in addition to that, we just kind of looked at the points that were um, on the list and kind of just sought after and see what we could add to it. Macomb, Wayne, and Oakland counties have recently joined together to collaboratively standardize the respective grade schools programs, share best practice, and work to purchase materials such as banners and decals for the schools. There's 600 students in our school and um, statistically the average person creates four pounds of garbage a day and 80% of that can be recycled. Um, so it, it's not a small impact, it's, it's a huge impact. Um, to bring awareness to our students and, and hopefully they take that knowledge home and it's a ripple effect throughout our community. It's important for a school to be green not only because there's energy savings but I think it, it does something that's very important for students. As leaders of the community some of our jobs are to make sure that people get a, students get a quality education that they have a sense of community that's instilled within them but the, also understand that they have a part and an ownership in 
not just our future but their future and it allows them to actually take an active role in their school to make sure it's a more sustainable, a more green place and one that saves money and in the future hopefully we can try to incentivize some of these programs and the more the kids save in energy in schools the more that they'll get something back. Congratulations to the 127 students across the county for achieving official Michigan Green School status. You're all leaders in keeping your communities green. For Bastity Beat, I'm Akashba.